Hey, what's up, guys? It's Eels. And I just, what? Every time I, I want to start my stream, every time I got out of the shower, we get this important tweet. And today is the, the important one. Okay? We've been wanting this for so long. And I want you guys to read it yourself. If I read all of this, the video becomes twice as long. And I cannot do that to you guys. I want to make this short because it's very important I get the message across. I'll throw the link in the pinned comment video description. You can just read it off my screen, but I'm just gonna go quickly over the major stuff, guys. So all the times are listed here, and the Founders Packs. This is the Northern Lawmaker skin, avatar, right? Jeez, let's, let's use the right terminology here, Zeus. Jesus. So the Northern Lawmaker avatar, we have, been talking about this we've seen the concept art no other region like korea russia we don't have this you guys are the first to get this i don't know if you guys like it but i'm actually kind of digging the guns hey i see some round objects i don't see no censorship there i see some censorship with the male character i mean i don't see any skin there i'm just kidding i'm just i'm just okay i'll, I'll, I'll not say the c word or the p2w word anyways we got the dogo doge and the Katarino, and yeah, we've talked about this to death. Found this pack. If you want to talk about it, come on my stream. Anything I want to cover here that is really important will be delivered to your account's roster storage. Okay, we'll talk about that when we talk about the servers. So, server reset time, weekly reset time, that's the maintenance time. All of this stuff is important, guys. So make sure you guys check this post out. This is important for not only the casuals, but the sweat boys that want to go ham first day, get to 50, and then fit all your dailies in, like Chaos Dungeon, Guardian Raids, Epic in the dailies, your rapport, separate video of what I'm going to do day one. If you guys want to hit me down below, but you need to know the daily reset time, the weekly stuff. Now you got it. Plan accordingly. If you don't fit it in within the first day, it's okay. It's a marathon. That's going to last you a decade if you plan to play for a decade like me. And there will be some adjustments to these times, what they're saying. Because they don't have the data for the peak hours just yet. But they have the data from the alpha and the beta. They, come on, man. There will be more people at the launch. So they're going to cater to the peak hours for the weekly PvP events which take about five minutes and it's twice a week on the weekends in Korea, about 10.30 server my time and the entire server comes and does this. Some people AFK, some people participate. Win or loss, you get the same rewards and the rewards are too fucking good to skip. So that's, I think what they're talking about here. They're gonna adjust that to the peak hours of the region. And we have to talk about the region. I've been talking about this every day since beta ended why because people have played beta and alpha and went over to the russian server and they installed the russian client and they log in and they're looking at my stream or other korean streamer screen and it's like what the fuck dude it's not the same experience it's not the same game it's it's, it's lost ark but it's not the same game lost ark is not a mobile game it is a mmo action rpg my server my region is fucking packed right now, okay? It's packed. It feels so good when I see other people run around my screen and trample my fucking character down. I'd rather have that than a dead-ass fucking server or dead-ass region because that is not an MMO. That is not an MMO game. It's a dead game. It's a mobile game. Regions matter because the more players equals more competition for the auction house making the prices more stable. That's like the, li the literally the TLDR. I could go on and on about the economy, how it affects the economy, how it affects casuals or the hardcore or anybody. So these are the servers. There are nine of them. East, we got seven, unless I can't count. West, I, 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 how many times did I warn Amazon in their DMs? I, I, I asked them, you have the internal data, right? They said, yes. Can you share them? I mean, I said, you don't even have to share them. But using the internal data, can't you predict that US, East, and West, there will be a, a gap in numbers? Yes. And I said, you know, in the future, a, a lot of my viewers are concerned because they've tried Russia and it's fucking dead. It's a meme, dude. Like, do you guys have a backup plan? No, not yet. Are you guys talking about it in 
beatings. No. This was like two months ago. And um, I think they're going to monitor this and then go from there. It's not going to be U.S. Central. I don't know why we don't have U.S. Central. There are more people that live. I, I know why. I get it. I know there are Australians and New Zealands. I, I, I get it. I love you guys. I love you guys. But, ah, man, I'd rather have the MMO experience for you guys. It benefits. I don't know. We'll see. I think off launch, it'll be okay over time. I'm not worried about launch, guys. Once again, I'm not trying to scare you guys. I'm just saying, what is the backup plan? So these are separate. Think of it as separate lost arcs. This is going to be a totally different experience. This is going to be a totally different experience. This is going to be a totally different experience. Totally different um, economy. The pricing of items will be different. Some people will pay less. Some people will pay more to reach a certain eye level. It's going to happen. Some people will wait in queues. Some people will get instant queues. Some people will find groups faster. Some people will take longer to find groups. Some people will find guilds of their needs. RP guild. Hello, let me get, I mean, let me get that stuff. It, it literally makes the Lost Ark experience. This is going to be a bubble. This is going to be a bubble. South America is going to be a bubble. And EU is going to be a happy bubble. <laughs> I'm kind of jealous of EU. Fuck. It's going to be a happy bubble. It is what it is. You guys will set the tone, the community, and all of that stuff. Anyways, I could go on and on about this. Join me on Twitch for that. Now, I want to talk about... Yeah, in Korea, we have eight servers. Is it eight? Yeah, eight servers. Some of them, I can't even create characters. They're just fucking packed. In two hours, we're going to go into busy mode. And then in a couple hours, we're going to go into queue mode. Now, I want to talk about the server. So let's load the game in. And I want to talk about the things that are going to be server bound because this is important. Now, before we talk about that, let's talk about something called server discord. Now, I don't know if any EU we're going to have a server discord or it's going to be part of the Amazonian discord or the unofficial Lost Ark discord. We're going to have different channels. But in Korea, what we have in Korea is we have a rare spawn hidden merchant, hidden merchant notification bots as well as people that go around to the spawn points and report it's 12 30 my time noon every 30 on the hour we get rare response so we have purple what the hell is purple it means purple epic quality rapport increasing material these will help you get rapport way 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 faster as well as rare card spawns the card said that early game dps characters want as well as end game support and the game support want is this set right here nambaj or i don't know what it's gonna be called in, in english but you're gonna get sedia pretty quickly because of her being tied to the hidden merchant a rare spawn and if you join a server discord and if we have a bot and if you set your roles that you get notifications for sedia spawn then you'll be notified like these tags, they're notifying players who chose those tags. So you'll be able to max Sedia really quickly. I think for me, it took about a week in Korea. So I was able to get the 7% crit from this set. And once you get to max all these orange or legendary, we're called, they're called awakenings. If you max them all out, it'll be the best in slot for support as it increases party damage by 3.5, about 3.5%. We're going to do a separate video on the cards, but what I'm saying is you'll be able to get the cards and the purple rapport increasing as well as the legendary rapport increasing items, which gives 2000 rapport. These are big boy, big deals. They only cost silver, which is farmable easily through your characters. Now, another thing is it spawns way. It's RNG. We don't know what time or where. I mean, it's going to be in Annika in the continent of Annika, but we don't know when it's going to spawn on what server. There is like a tier list for servers in Korea, but it's fucking RNG. You can't predict this shit. I have a maxed out way. I think it's like 16 or 17 copies. I, I, I can't think right now. I didn't get my morning coffee. All right. Anyways, you need a lot of ways is what I'm saying. And way is so important that they made an actual credit card for way. This is not a fucking meme, or, although there are a billion memes. When Wei spawns, everybody logs on. Everybody that needs Wei 
goes over to Attica, gets on the fucking liner. The, the liner's about to explode and loads into these hundreds and hundreds of channels. People packed to the brim, like you lose FPS, and people run over to the vendor and purchase this because it's so cheap from the hidden vendor. You need to do this, guys. You need to join the server Discord. You don't have to do it day one, but you want to eventually get there. You don't want to be joining a server Discord two months later like this guy. Okay? All right? So you want to join pretty fucking quick. There are just too many perks. Way is your best in slot for DPSers. You want to get the free ways. You know, some servers in Korea, because of the queue times, People can't even get it in time. You have 30 minutes after response to get it. People cannot even load the game quickly enough to get these. We're talking tens of thousands of people on the server rush to get those. People literally at work take smoke breaks to go to a PC cafe to load the game to grab these. People literally get a fucking motorcycle driver, like an Uber driver, to rush home after work to get these. It's not a fucking joke. So I want to show you guys the rapport items. It's going to be in the report tab so you get those and you give it to your npcs and you can get fully maxed out exalted with them and get the rewards that they give whether it be gold or orphe star that unlocks skill points or rp stats so that you can interact with other npcs to get their rewards like cards stat points this is stupid super not stupid super fucking important okay the rapport stuff and you should fit it into your daily cycle to do the rapport with these npcs separate video don't worry. Now, another thing I want to talk about is, let's say, hmm, let's say Bobby, your friend Bobby, wants to go to, let's go to Wei, my boy Wei. So you started on Wei after work, but then you found out Bobby went to Thyrain, motherfucker. And you, you need to accommodate, you know, Bobby's alpha. So you want to accommodate, you want to start over on Thyrain. What carries over? Well, let's talk about the things that doesn't carry over. Cards stay on your server, server-wide, not account-wide, server-wide. People ask this all the time, and I want to tell you guys, engraving, engraving books, server-wide. Very alt-friendly, right? Server-wide. Avatars, if they're tradable, if they have a trade limit, and you didn't surpass those limits, then you can, you know, put it on the auction house, and then... I guess you could buy it on the other server unless you get sniped or something. Accessories are tradable between servers. That's why you can post them on the auction house. Bracer and Rock, I believe, was one time and then it binds to you so they can't flip the auction house. Now you also unlock stats from your server level and that's gonna be server bound as well. And some avatars that you get from events for free. Let me go to the bags real quick. These are, go yeah, pets and mount server bound as well. So yeah, these, one trade limit so that you can't flip them in the auction house, so you can't abuse the auction house. So you could trade this once. If you mail it to another account on the same server, it'll bind to them. Anyways, for the event free avatars, like this dino skin, I could trade it to all my characters on this server. If I start on another server, I cannot give this to them because it's bound to this server. However, I can trade it to all my characters on my server and who can equip those? All the female fighters. So I can give this to any of my female fighters. All right. You'll see more of this once you have the game loaded in. It'll tell you the rules when you mouse over it, when you can read the text. Anyways, those are the quick things that I wanted to talk about when it comes to server bound stuff. Why the hell am I telling you this? Because when you claim your founder's pack, so let's say you started on the way and 10 levels in, Bobby's like, hey, I'm on Thyrain. Come on over. And if you didn't claim, the founders pack on way server then you're okay you can just go over there and just start over okay but once you claim the founders pack on way bro you know all the goodies are going to go to way <laughs> so what i'm saying is consult your fucking friends family doctor and pick a region and pick the server carefully if you need more time, it's okay. Just don't claim shit until you're certain. Will there be server transfers in the future? In Korea, we just started it. It got literally full. Like, we could not use it anymore after six minutes. They're still testing this. We're still, you know, it's new to us. So we need some more time. But that's all I want to say for now, guys. So once again, 
we know the daily times so if you want to capitalize on those capitalize we know the different server names if you want to meet up somewhere with your guildies this is the time to consult them and about the founders packs or anything to do with permanent progress something like your account level or i mean not the account level sorry server level or you know collecting cards and progress like pets and mounts which is server wide if you need more time to decide now you got it we finally got this information all right guys so that's gonna be it thank you so much i'm just, did i leave anything out i don't think so anyways if you got questions leave them down below or join me on twitch see you later peace